Hello everyone and welcome back to World of Warship Splits with Terry. We're finally starting to look at the legendary commanders. Took me long enough. I think I've been talking about that for ages now. And I figured we'll start at the rear, so at the other end of the tech tree. And uh, the first one I found was on the Dutch cruiser line. And that is none other than Michiel de Reiter. Uh, he was a very famous Dutch general from the 17th century where the Dutch would frequently clash at sea with the British and the French. And uh, the writer was sort of, as far as I remember, famous for uh, outsmarting his opponents and using his environment and all these kind of things. Kind of like what you need to do in a Dutch cruiser. <laughs> so <laughs> let's have a look at what skills um, the writer is bringing, to, is bringing to the table here. Now, actually, before we do that, let's have a quick look at what the Dutch cruisers need. So the Dutch cruisers have a gimmick, if you're not familiar with that line, and that gimmick is that they can drop uh, an airstrike onto unsuspecting enemies. Effectively, they, can, they don't have planes that they launch themselves, but they can ask for an airstrike to be summoned out of nowhere, uh, fly over and drop some level bombs, similar to what the British uh, the British dive bombers or level bombers are doing, onto unsuspecting enemies, uh, and you get a brief top-down view to make this sort of thing happen. On top of that, uh, British uh, British uh, Dutch cruisers are getting sonar and are getting uh, defensive AA, so they have a, de a decent amount of utility as well. The guns tend to be a little on the slow reloads. But we're doing this on tier 8 for now, so let's have a quick look and now that we understand what, uh, what the ships are, are there for, uh, how we can set them up. Now the legendary skills that he gets are, or the good skills that he gets, the boosted, whatever you want to call it, he gets the Air Defense Expert Plus, which gives us, uh, which is an obviously no, obvious no-brainer. It gives us air defense uh, skill, uh, air defense alert skill duration, and it halves the cooldown. He also gets the Recon and Surveillance Plus for the same thing happening to the sonar. So if you combo that with the battlefield support for extra sonar and air defense alert, you get a pretty decent, uh, a pretty decent utility set out of these cruisers. On top of that, he has the Extinguisher Plus, so he actually takes, uh, he gets a damage re an additional damage reduction of 20% on, uh, on fires, which is sort of useful if you are thinking of playing in the utility role and actually putting yourself in harm's way when it comes to enemy aircraft. Uh, you know, that sort of thing can, uh, can actually come in handy. He's got the Honor Seeker Plus, uh, which is probably not hugely beneficial, because it gives you 2% extra damage in uh, for every medal that you, you get, but uh, you, you have to get some medals. So if you can manage to get a first strike, the thing is that's not really what these ships are for. So if you rush ahead and <laughs> right into the enemy, uh, you get yourself killed. So I'm not too sure um, that that's massively useful. However, he gets a special skill, the Flying Dutchman, <laughs> I see what you did there, Wargaming. Uh, and uh, that reduces, uh, that, that increases the airstrike squadron speed by 8%, which means your squadrons are faster. And uh, that is, is actually quite a neat skill. Now, uh, you do have two other skills in the tech tree, and you can see that I haven't taken these. Uh, because they don't really make an awful lot of sense. So you can get the uh, return speed of aircraft squadrons up, but that only would make sense if you had read aircraft that would actually return to your ship, which this, uh, the airstrikes don't. They just disappear again into the void. Or the other one obviously being the fighter efficiency, which makes no sense because you don't have any fighters. But uh, this skill here is specific to the Dutch cruisers. And you get the Horizontal Protection Expert Plus, which gives you an additional fire reduction risk and, uh, and deck protection for these things. So most of these skills are geared towards a, a support cruiser utility gameplay and towards uh, being able to weather in uh, in incoming HE and, uh, and damage over time or bombs from, from, uh, from, from aircraft. 
but this one specifically gives you a slightly faster squadron speed which means uh, they'd have they have eight percent less time to react and the aa has a little bit less time to actually shoot any of them down so having him on the Harlem, how have i set up the Harlem? I have the uh, airstrike modification in here, which is also a, a, a Dutch specialty for getting the reload time down. And I'm actually playing with concealment on this thing because she's got a relatively decent concealment and it allows you to, uh, to go undetected and to effectively stealth airstrike because now you have an 8.7 kilometer range on the airstrike but uh, you have a 7.6 kilometer surface detection. So you can actually open water stealth airstrike if you are low on hit points, which is quite useful as a thing to be able to do. On top of that, I'm using the uh, Royal Netherlands Navy, Navy Camel, which gives us uh, the 4% bomber HP is really not that valuable, but uh, gives us AA and main battery range, which is all good stuff. Concealment would have been nice, but uh, I would quickly compare that to the historical. Uh, yeah, the historical gets the useless torpedo damage reduction, so uh, th this is definitely the better choice and it doesn't look terrible. So with this, uh, with this legendary commander fully upgraded in a fully kitted out Harlem, what is that going to look like? And we're finding ourselves in a 4v4 on uh, Trident in a domination match against a Black Kansas, Prince Heinrich, an Omono and an Atlanta. The Dutch cruisers are not good at rushing caps. Nevertheless, the Dutch cruisers are pretty good at, you know, general support duty. But they have, if there is no carrier in play, <laughs> all that extra AA firepower doesn't really matter. Uh, I have, th this is actually a heavy cruiser. I think she had German 203mm main guns. So pretty decent punch on these things. Now, one problem with uh, the Reiter is that if you take the legendary skill, you're actually not doing anything about your guns and uh, I would have loved to take the APCS on these guns honestly to give them a little bit more of a punch uh, instead of the 8% uh, that 8% uh, airstrike but you know at that point you may as well just not use them <laughs> but uh, we'll get ourselves positioned next to that little island there's a bot taco and uh, he's, he is out of range but there is a New Orleans and there might be other stuff that's a bot New Orleans and there's an Atlanta so we now have a figuring out your aim can be a little tricky because uh, because it is now a little shorter because these things come in earlier but uh, uh, the bot has pushed the Atlanta out of the way so <laughs> Oh great. Well, anyway, it's an Atlanta. I've got a 203 mm armor piercing, so I can I can finish that thing off uh, without too much trouble. The other thing that you need to know about the Dutch airstrikes and the Atlanta is not paying any attention whatsoever. Uh, the other thing you need to know about the Dutch airstrikes is that um, they have a minimal a minimum distance. So where are you going? Uh, you going straight out? Let's see. Okay, so can somebody please finish off that New Orleans? Okay, I'll do it myself. I have no torpedoes or secondaries or any of that sort, but um, okay. Now the Atlanta is shooting at me, uh, and now one, now the bot Miyoko goes. Get down, Mr. President! I'd be much obliged if you could finish off that New Orleans. That would be grand. Uh, Bugger is still alive. Okay, someone's going to kill it eventually. Let's do another airstrike on the Atlanta. Now the Atlanta is an AA cruiser, but uh, as you can see, it doesn't shoot an awful lot of planes down, and I need to aim a little bit more forward. So I haven't really, I haven't managed to get the the um, bombs on target. I do need a bit more uh, time figuring out uh, uh, figuring out where exactly I need to aim those. But yeah, the Atlanta is dead, which leaves the uh, Omono. Let's see what the Omono is doing. And it looks like he nope, he's coming out to fight. Okay, let's give a bit more lead this time. Shot uh, airstrike out, and obviously the Omono has torpedoes, so we are going to go defensive here. And I think that was a little better aimed. Yep, that was pretty good. And uh, that is a fire. He damage controls the fire. Now to his cre to his credit, he is low on hit points, but uh, I've got the sonar running because somewhere there are gonna be torpedoes. And uh, I've got most of my guns forward, so there's really no reason for me not to do this. 
And then I'm gonna get another airstrike out. Where is he turning? He's turning in. Double fire. I'm gonna let him come back. Yep, there come the Omono torpedoes. And he has turned out again, so he's avoiding the airstrike. Uh, but I can finish him off with the guns potentially. While I'm having to keep an eye on the torpedoes. Can I avoid that torpedo? I don't think so. Okay, took one torpedo on the nose there, not the end of the world, but now he's behind an island. And you'd think that um, he'd be safe, but uh, he isn't. Because I have an airstrike, and he can't see me right now, but I still know where he is. So I'm gonna drop an airstrike on him, and then we will see we will see what he's doing, and see if we can actually, uh, can actually kill him that way. The other thing that this really helps with is spotting. Okay, he is, he is on fire, he's damage controlled the fire earlier, so he's gonna burn down. So that thing is dead. But uh, we're down to two ships, um, and uh, it's going to be two on two v two in a second, but uh, we're not holding any of the capture circles, so that's the only one down. And now I'm going to get C cup, but uh, I don't know what that battleship over there is doing. It's probably going to die, and the enemy team's holding two of the capture circles. This is going to get close, isn't it? Because I'm now at the at the far end of the of the map, and I'm going to head over uh, as quickly as I can towards B cup, and then uh, make myself useful. I still got most of my hit points. Uh, but uh, there are two battleships out there, and yes, the Prince Heinrich has taken out the Colorado, which means the enemy team is now 100, uh, 130 odd points ahead. Uh, but we do have almost two and a half minutes left of this battle. So if I'm going to capture B and maybe get a kill, it might be enough. <laughs> now, obviously, I don't want to rush in here. But I should be able to outspot, because this is, a, this is a concealment build, I should be able to outspot both of these guys. And um, we'll see what they're doing. Uh, one of them's launched, yeah, there's the Prince Heinrich. He is on relatively low hit points. And he is sailing towards the island uh, very slowly. And uh, unfortunately, I did get myself spotted here. I thought I could get away with not being spotted. Uh, that means I can't get across the island. But I have to uh, have to get behind the island. Now we're dropping the first airstrike on the Prince Heinrich. That sets a fire, he damage, damage cons? No, he does not actually. Okay, let's hold off with the other airstrike. And uh, I'm not sure if he is, but I'm gonna drop the other airstrike in that direction and then I'm gonna make myself scarce here and hide behind the island. Oh, he sped up, okay. That airstrike might mostly miss. Uh, six bomb hits, no additional fires, but he is, okay, now he damage cons the fire. He's gotten his torpedoes away. But now he's on low enough hit points that I should be able to just finish him off. So when we're gonna fire the high explosive, then switch to um, piercing. Oh, come on, really? <laughs> Game, you're trolling me. Okay, uh, I don't need to go defensive against the Prince Heinrich because now both of them are shooting at me. Fortunately, the, um, the other battleship is overshooting. He is slowing down, it's the Kansas. He is slowing down, which means he's getting right into the airstrike. Didn't need the airstrike because uh, the Prince Heinrich is dead. And now we are 30 points behind with 50 seconds to go. I am, I'm gonna say, I mean, I, I have no way of killing the black, of killing the Kansas in the time remaining. So the best thing I can do right now is remain undetected. What I can do, however, is airstrike undetected. So uh, he's not, he's, he's not gonna have a chance to get beak up. This is gonna get close. We're still, where are we? Uh, 700 to 685. I don't want to get any closer than that, but it's 20 seconds left. He's not going to kill me in 20 seconds, so uh, at this point I might as well just uh, see if I can if I can goad him to uh, to to turn into my airstrike and just reverse out from here. Uh, 703, 709, and 11. Two points behind. Come on, come on! I need one more tick. Uh, 15 to 14. That should be enough. <laughs> Yep, and we win by a single point. Uh, I believe this is literally, this is literally how close I could possibly shave it. <laughs> and uh, if the Prince Heinrich hadn't hadn't actually uh, come out to fight, uh, they would they would have won this. But <laughs> I can't blame him because even I had no idea if the points would have been enough or not. But uh, yeah. Uh, that that was literally as close as I could possibly make it. <laughs> one one tick more and they would have won on points. Anyway, so um, uh, the Reiter, is he worth it? Um, I would say he's sort of worth it for the he's sort of worth it for the uh, for the support cruiser skills with a better sonar and a better AA. 
uh, is he worth it for the airstrike buff itself? Probably not, uh, especially if you consider that you have to forego armor piercing cup shell for that, which would have been a nice one on these guns. Um, I'd say it's a it's a good legendary commander to have. Uh, just don't necessarily be assuming that he does a massive difference in terms of um, in terms in terms of the effectiveness of your airstrike. I think the the difference there is marginal at best. You can achieve very similar things with um, with with a regular commander. But uh, if you are into Dutch cruisers, then and you can get your hands on on that commander without too much gambling. Uh, it's, it's a worthy addition, but it's not a must-have in my opinion. Anyway, uh, that's it for me today. Thanks, everybody, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.